Hey, what's going on guys? It is Lasty here and welcome to The Return, the first episode of The Random Pick on FIFA 14. This has been requested by you guys for absolutely ages and I'm very happy to bring it back to you today. Uh, first off, if you guys are looking to buy coins, then be sure to check out UT Coin Traders. Always guys, the links are down below in the description for you. Now, you guys know the rules. Uh, basically, we pick a random number on random.org. Go to that corresponding page on the market and buy the highest rated player. Uh, today, as you can see in your bottom left corner, I am going to go with a 50,000 uh, coin maximum bid because player prices at the moment are a bit crazy and I wanted to kind of do a team that maybe you guys could also afford. So, the first random page that we got on random.org was a page number 38. Eight, I believe so I'll just skip to that one right now uh, and as you can see as we scroll along the highest rated player is an 84 rated Samir Nasri who plays for Manchester City the Frenchman who also looks like a very very good card so that is our first player nice one to get a Samir Nasri which is very very good uh, second page we end up picking is a page number four I believe it was uh, and as we scroll through that page it is only the second one in and we get ourselves a Javier Hernandez Chicha uh, the Mexican who plays for Manchester United and we have gone with the third player today sometimes we do two players sometimes we do three and today I thought I'd kick things off with a three player random pick uh, and we get a page at number 14 which leads us to getting a, uh, a nice player as we scroll all the way to the end of this page we end up getting the 85 rated Arturo Vidal now he looks to be an absolutely insane card this year on Ultimate Team uh, and I cannot wait to get using him Right then, so as always, what we do now is go in, you know, create a new squad, name it obviously random pick one, uh, and we choose our formation. And after having a little play around on FootWiz, I decided that the formation I wanted to go with on this squad was a 4-1-2-1-2 with the centre mids. Uh, and that is going to be the formation that we end up using on this, you know, on this video. So about time we went off into the market and actually picked up our three players. So the first player we're going to go in and get is our Samir Nasri. Uh, so we'll just reset our configurations here. You make use of the new search function there and it's so easy to just pick out a Samir Nasri. And as you can see here, I'm just browsing the market, judging his price, seeing roughly what he is, uh, lowering my search you know, parameters as and when. Uh, realize that that one at a 26,000 bin was a striker and we did not want that. We want him in a cam uh, and we end up going ahead and picking up, uh, was it this one right here, I believe? Yes, Samir Nasri in a catalyst position, uh, which looks quite good. I like to pick up the ones which have um, the chemistry styles on them because they're generally they're worth about a thousand coins more uh, second player we go off and get is our Javier Hernandez uh, and again nice and easy to search that name very good I'm very glad that EA implemented that into uh, this game this year which is awesome judging his price a little bit and we ended up picking up someone got a deal there 7300 we end up picking up one of these guys uh, or this one on the 59th minute for seven and a half K which is a very good deal indeed but someone got a much better one than me but this is the squad we ended up going with I already had a Vidal in my club because I packed him as you will have seen or as you will see in the next day or two uh, yeah I packed Vidal so he was already in my club so that is just even better uh, and this is the squad that we've gone ahead and used around these three players in the 41212 brackets 2. Uh, in goal, we've got ourselves a Gianluigi Buffon um, getting nice chemistry with the centre backs. We have Sanya and Radu as our left back and right back. Hopefully, they'll do some decent work for us. Casaras and Chiellini at centre back. Very excited to use them. Nice and pacey, nice and strong, uh, and very good centre backs in, indeed. Over on the left hand side, that left centre mid is going to be Paul Pogba, a card which looks epic this year. Loads of good stats on him. And then we have Johan Kabay out on the right to get that strong link with Samir Nazri. Now, the first player we have is Arturo Vidal. He has got a finisher chemistry style on him, and just look at his crazy stats right there. They are insane. As you can see, I packed him first owner. He's got high, high work rates, three-star skill moves, and the four-star weak foot. Very excited to use him. Cannot wait. You know, I'm hoping he'll he'll do some attacking as well as defending for me. Then our Samir Nasri looks very good. Nearly 26k paid for him. High, low work rates, dead-eye chemistry style. Four-star skills and weak foot, and he looks to be an absolute beast this year. Again, 86 dribbling being his standout stat. 
Then we had Aloika Remy up front to partner our Chicharito Javier Hernandez with the three star skill moves and weak foot, medium low work rates, uh, 88 pace being his standout stat. The marksman chemistry style gives him shooting, dribbling, and heading. So just ups all of those little stats right there. Now, let's go into some of the clips that we got whilst we were playing with this team. So first off, I'm just going to show you a couple of goals from Remy uh, before we end up moving on to the clips from Vidal, Nazri, and uh, Chicharito himself. Um, <laughs> we get very lucky with this goal right here. It was just ridiculous. Some of the aids in this game is uh, still apparent, which is... A bit frustrating sometimes. Sometimes the players feel like they're running through treacle as well, which is a bit crazy. Um, Remy here making loads of space, bursting through, and then a lovely shot across goal. Uh, move on to a couple of clips that I did get with Vidal. I actually scored a couple of goals from him from that CDM spot, which is great. He's He was hanging out on the outside of my corners right there, so I thought once, you know what, I'm going to play it out, see if we can get some space and take a shot, and that worked out very well. But how about this for a goal from Vidal? I was outstanding. I, I didn't know who it was that scored it to start with. And when I saw it was our CDM, Vidal, I was just over the moon with that one. Uh, very good goal. Uh, shame it went off the keeper's back. Love it if it had just gone in. Uh, Chicharito scoring a hat-trick for me in this game. And I believe that was the only game he actually scored goals in. Uh, so we'll get to that in a moment right here. But... Uh, Yes, he does score headers, he does score finesse shots, and he felt quite strong when he did get in the right position, but I felt his positioning was a little lacking in you know, quite a lot of the time, uh, and it just it didn't seem to work out all the time for him. Remy felt like a better striker, if I'm honest, uh, but Sami and Nasri, he was an absolute monster. Absolutely loved him. Uh, skill moves, fantastic. Always in the right spot. High-low work rate, so he's always looking to be up the pitch, scoring goals. Great shot on him. Uh, this was just a bound to be a goal. EA wanted me to score at that point in time with so many deflections and whatnot. Um, but I just think his shot was lovely. I mean, right here, we just we just take that defender on by, by turning quite nicely. And then an overpowered finesse shot went in very, very nice. But this was my favourite goal. Just makes a little bit of space for himself. Uh, and then absolutely nutmegs David Luiz. Beautiful goal across goal. Uh, just such a brilliant goal. I loved it a lot. Uh, so... Finally, this is the, the, oh no, going back to the team that we actually used. Just going to go through it and tell you how I enjoyed each player. Buffon, fairly solid keeper. A little dodgy on, on the handling, I felt, but other than that, he was pretty good. Radu and Sanya got up and down the pitch pretty nicely. Uh, San, San, they're both being a little bit too slow for my liking, but they were all right. Casaras and Chiellini, apart from Casaras being a little bit out of position, they were both very solid. Uh, Chiellini being the better of the two. Uh, Pogba and Kabai, I didn't really like Kabai, but Pogba was very, very good. Uh, this formation I wasn't too much of a fan of because they almost acted like left and right mids, and they're really not suited for that. Um, but Vidal, he was he was very, very good. I, I mean, just getting up and down the pitch as much as he did. He did attack as well as defend, which is great. He scored two goals and assisted one in the six games that we ended up playing. Uh, which was very good from that CDM spot. I really enjoyed him. I would give him a 4 out of 5 for value of for money. Uh, and out of 10, I think I'm going to give him an 8.5. He's the perfect player really for that for that sort of role. You know, could, could slightly be better by having better skill moves perhaps. Um, and I'm looking forward to various informs of him this year. Talking about Samir Nasri. He was definitely my favourite player of this team. As you can see, he pretty much did everything. Four goals and four assists in six games is absolutely phenomenal. He was a class act through and through. Really enjoyed him. Set up goals, scored goals, you name it, he was there to do it. Uh, I'm going to give him a uh, four and a half star value for money. And then out of ten, I'm going to have to give him a nine. You know, that's a pretty high rating for the first week of this series. And I think he very much deserves it. He was a very good player. Uh, certainly the best in this squad. Loic Remy scoring a few goals for us, actually more than Chicharito did. Uh, getting on to Chicharito, I, I wasn't too much of a fan of him. He seemed all right, but not too special. I mean, he scored a hat trick in one game, which means that for five games he didn't actually score and he didn't assist anything either. So uh, value for money, I'm going to give a three star rating, and then out of ten, I'm going to give him a seven. You know, he was all right, did score some goals. 
but could be far, far better. Um, so that, guys, is the random pick. I hope you have enjoyed. I will leave a, a little note on the side here as to how much this squad cost when I built it. Um, if you have enjoyed, guys, I would really appreciate it if you smash the like button. You guys have been requesting this for ages, so I'm bringing it back for you. That would be epic if you could help me out in that way. And I will catch you next time. Peace.